So you've probably seen recently, Brother and Weirds have had a massive update to do with the Black Shorts. With them actually releasing a live stream, which came out just the other day, and people were very, very happy with it. There was a ton of really cool updates that they added to the game, as well as some really nice rewards that wasn't anything like too spectacular, but also it kind of satisfied everyone. But with this live stream, a lot of people were asking, well, what does the future of Wuthering Waves look like and what are they actually working towards? So in this video, we're going to be talking about everything going on with Wuthering Waves at the moment and also some future plans that they have, including things to do with graphics, bringing it out to other platforms, and also some changes going on with the launcher, which I thought was very exciting as well. But before I get into this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy it. And also go over to Game Service, use my code Kazo, and get yourself 10% off a ton of cups and tubs. I definitely recommend going over there. They've got a ton of really nice stuff. They've got a few events going on as well, so I definitely recommend checking that out. And yeah, just use my code Kazo. But let's get back into the video. So we're going to start off with the updates for the PC launcher. Now, this is a pretty big one, as a lot of people have been asking for this since the game came out. Pretty much they say here in this note page, to provide a better experience for all rovers, we will be releasing the 1.6.2 launcher on September 20th introducing the following new features now the 20th was two days ago so i'm pretty sure that's whenever the live stream for 1.3 actually came out and the first one is massive which is pre-download feature for the pc launcher kuro games have actually been working on this for a little while now of actually allowing people to pre-download the game like you can do in games like genshin impact the zone zero you know hoyoverse have pretty much got it down I'm not sure about some other games like Snowbreak and uh, Nikkei. I'm pretty sure you have to do it on the day. But it's really good to see that we're having a pre-download feature on Wuthering Waves that we can use right now, especially with the version 1.3 coming up. Because some people just don't have very good Wi-Fi or internet to be able to, you know, download it on the day and it only take like 30 minutes or something like that. Some people, it takes hours for it to actually download. So, you know, allowing them to pre-download the game maybe a day or two before the game actually comes out is really, really great. And it allows a lot more people to play the game on launch day because there's going to be people who just don't have a good enough system or, you know, good enough internet to actually download it quick enough, meaning that they're going to be delayed by a day or, you know, delayed by a certain amount of time to actually play the update whenever it comes out. And it could lose the player's interest altogether. So it's great to see this because loads of people will take advantage of this pre-download and even people who don't have like bad internet can use this too. I mean, the main reason it is done is for bad internet, but, you know, people with good internet do it too so they don't have to wait even like a little bit of time to download this update, especially for content creators too. So again, it's really great to see. And they also made some changes with the default use of DirectX 12 to launch the game. And pretty much that's everything to do with the whole graphical system of that. Again, it's not that interesting, so I won't go too far into that. But again, that's the only thing that I really wanted to point out on the update for the launcher is that you can now pre-download. So if you're someone who does like to take advantage of the pre-download, then I'd definitely go check it out right now because it should be implemented into the launcher. I don't think the actual version 1.3 has been sent out for pre-download yet. We should be able to do it in the next upcoming days. And then moving on to the live stream, obviously I made a video on this yesterday talking about the overall, you know, live stream and how I thought about it, you know, what was the cool updates. There was one bit in the live stream that I really, really liked to see, and it was them talking about the optimization of performance. They said optimizing performance, adapting to 120 FPS, controller compatibility, and expanding the variety and diversity of existing game content. So again, those are some really important things that I think a lot of people have really missed because Wuthering Waves, it seems like their big focus for now is quality of the game and improving what they have which i think a lot of other games don't really do obviously we've seen in the past with genshin impact there's a ton of updates out there that they could be doing to make the game a lot better especially quality of life update ones i mean graphically they're fine i think i think they've got it pretty much down but they could expand if they wanted to but people have been asking for updates for ages with you know Hoyaverse not really listening Whereas Wuthering Waves and Kuro Games, they seem to be listening to the players a lot more. And they say this in the live stream as well, that they've actually been listening to player feedback. And I think that improving the quality and the graphics of the game is just one of the things that they want to improve on their game. Now, what have they actually been doing? Well, obviously, they've added 120 FPS. 120 FPS was a big thing that people have been asking for. I don't know if Genshin Impact or, you know, Honkai Star or anything has that. So I think that is definitely where, you know, Kuro Games shine in that kind of thing, because they're able to, you know, make their game much more higher quality than their competition which will be a kind of swaying thing for a lot of players choosing whether to play what kind of gacha game they've also done other stuff like adding the game to playstation i've talked about this a ton on my channel we should be able to see this very very soon coming out after the tokyo game show finishes i'm pretty sure the tokyo game show actually starts today so we should be able to expect some kind of news about the playstation anytime soon but again that's going to be really great too because it means that they can actually adapt further the graphics for other consoles and for other games and it kind of proves how competent Kuro games are whenever it comes to, you know, releasing this kind of stuff. And as I said, with this 120 FPS option being added a couple of updates ago, they're also optimizing other stuff for game performance for select mobile devices. People have had an issue with people not being able to run the game on mobile 
and obviously you know it's a very graphically intense game so i wouldn't be surprised if lots of people were having that issue but it seems like Crow games have been optimizing the game further and further to you know allow people to play the game even more on mobile devices while also having the best graphics possible which i think is really good now obviously the only downside of the 120 fps feature is that it's only available on nvidia rtx 30 series cards 40 series cards and then amd 6000s and 7000s which again is kind of limiting because not everyone has an rtx 30 series or an rtx 40 series because yeah they are pretty expensive pieces you know of kit but hopefully in the future and as they said in the live stream you know they're still working on a lot of the 120 fps stuff and adapting to it so hopefully they kind of bring it out for other versions of graphics cards that can actually run it because again i think that limiting it to the rtx 30 series and 40 series you know isn't great but it also does mean that they are trying to experiment with a lot of the stuff that they're adding to the game including you know graphical settings i think also another really big update that's actually coming to the game is the addition of controllers to mobile now this might not be a very big thing to you you might not play on mobile you maybe play on pc because let's be real, a lot of people who play Weathering Ways probably play it on PC because, because it is very hard to run it on mobile and I know a lot of people in China and those kind of areas do like to play it on mobile a lot more but I think adding controllers to the game will allow players to have like more precise actions which I think is going to actually entice a lot more people to actually play it on mobile even if that is just at home. And with this update they also mentioned that they've actually been working on the controller settings and stuff like that to do with mobile which also means they've been experimenting with the controller settings on PC and also the PS5. So it's good to see that they're actually trying to innovate with that kind of stuff and try to improve stuff but not just for one platform because you know you could have a ton of updates centered around one platform you know improving this thing about the pc or you could have this kind of multi-purpose update with the addition of controllers to mobile and improving the overall controls for it also going to the ps5 version and to the pc version meaning you know you've kind of killed a couple of birds with one stone and with a lot of the black shores update obviously this area is supposed to look really nice so i hope that we're going to be able to see this with a lot of the new graphical settings obviously 120 fps is going to look really nice especially with all of the kind of like dark kind of imagery that we've got going on over there so again i'm really excited to see what it kind of looks like and how they can keep improving the overall graphical settings because not only are the graphical settings good and that they've been implementing a lot of stuff with nvidia they've also actually been making their overall worlds a lot more aesthetically pleasing especially the map obviously ginger whenever it first came out did not look very good at all in the beta but then they've improved it so much more and it still looks you know pretty all right i don't think it's anything like super amazing but with these new regions like mount firmament the black shores all of these new areas i definitely think they've actually improved on the overall look of it which obviously is going to look better with these better graphical settings and the same goes for events as well obviously we had the recent festival event which i thought looked very cool especially in the night they had like all of this kind of glowy effects around the lanterns which i thought looked really nice and again I think the graphical settings will help to enhance that even more. I think that Kuro Games know that that's the kind of thing that they should be going for. But yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about today. Obviously, you know, it's really exciting to see that Kuro Games are still listening to players' feedback, especially whenever it comes to graphical stuff. And also the launcher. I think that the pre-download feature is very exciting, especially for a lot of people who maybe hadn't had the chance to play the game whenever it came out, or maybe just don't have the chance to download it whenever the update comes out. So we should be seeing a lot more people playing on release. But yeah, let me know down in the comments what you guys think about these updates. Do you think that they are going to be beneficial to the game? Or do you think that they aren't really that big and that, you know, it's just going to be another thing that they add to the game that no one's going to really talk about? But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And also go over to Game Subs, use my code Kazo, where you can get yourself 10% off a ton of cups and tubs. And yeah, go check out some of the events they got over there. And I will see you guys in the next one. That's all. See ya.